Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more ultra modded Eden streaks. I'm used to saying ultra modded because Aspire shoot me. Uh, here's the deal. Here's a seed. XN KR 14.6 Q. I will absolutely go into the devil deal and snag that per throw uh, immediately. Go snag that per throw if you want it immediately when you play this seed with the mod pack linked in the description down below. Hope you guys are having a good one today. I'm having an okay one. It's my first day of class in my last semester of schooling ever. Uh, I'm super excited to graduate this coming May uh, and not do YouTube full time, but also uh, just get the hell out of school because school sucks. Am I right? Uh, just kidding. We're going to talk about that uh, here in a little bit. I think because I'm in a very I'm in a very conversationally focused mood today happy star is fine it's a slight damage up our stats are actually pretty good um, very high damage as a, a base Eden here today uh, rate of fire I mean look it could get better but there, there's always room for improvement when it comes to uh, rate of fire as Eden very rarely do you have that start where you're like oh my god we have seven rate of fire we're chilling for the run uh we'll get there right we'll get there but anyway let's talk a little bit about Isaac uh real quick before we delve into uh the new semblance of the universe changes and things like that um I may be making a change to the mod pack soon um is not in this video and I wouldn't even bank on seeing it in the next video um, because the change requires me doing some stuff on my end. There's a new mod, new-ish mod uh, in development and I haven't been asked directly by them uh, to cover the mod but I, I have been asked by some other people uh, if I could check it out and I took one look at it and I'm going to be honest with you, I actually like... I really like uh, some of the stuff that they're doing in it, and, and I think that it would be a fun mod to add here to uh, to the Eden streaks. So the name of the mod is the Ipecant Community Mod. Um, it's a primarily just large collection uh, of a bunch of different uh, mods into a bunch of different items and things like that into one space. It adds a playable character. Obviously, we won't be playing that playable character. Um, because it's an Eden streak. I don't think I need to explain that uh, a whole hell of a lot. But the mod seems really interesting. Um, and I played it a little bit. The only problem is I'm getting a little bit of lag with it. Uh, and it's it's solely due to the nature of we have a good chunk of mods on. Uh, and to keep the performance where I like to have it. It means that I'm going to have to attempt to work this tool called Mod Merger. Um, which is essentially a way to combine the Lua scripts uh, that the mods are running on into one big Lua script so that it you know loads it easier on game startup it is some background uh, humbo jumbo action um, don't worry too too much about it but uh, people have said that it's a way to uh, really take away lag uh, in Isaac mods and, and if I can get that to ever work I I've tried it once before and it crashed on me so I'm a little um, a little bit skeptical that it's going to work this time. I don't know what loves me, loves me not is, but it scares me enough that I have no interest in uh, doing it. So moving box, look, there are game breaks with moving box. Is my brain in the right state of mind to figure out a game break with moving box today? Almost certainly not. So I'm just going to leave it behind, take the item that gives me uh, invincibility in rooms have some easy boss clear so we can uh, have a nice safe run uh, and we'll move on. Should I be re-rolling uh, moving box though? Almost certainly um, but I want to I want to do our devil deal first uh, in case I want to re-roll that instead just because the devil deal it offers us a little bit more uh, value on the run. I also I, I probably want to well, I suppose it's too late now. I was going to say I probably want to uh, try to get a... Try to get a uh, spirit heart or something. But now I'm looking at this going... We're not going to be able to find the amount of money we need. I actually do. It might be like adjacent to the curse room. Or it's right here. It is right here. Okay. 
Well, now we have enough money, so that, that fixes that problem. Um, blow you up. Hate the spiders, but... Love the, love the saint, hate the sinner, something like that. Uh, I'm actually going to re-roll... I'm not going to re-roll this yet. Just leave, okay? There, there's, there's various courses of action we can take uh, on this floor. I don't think that sucking buddy is very good. Um, damn, dude, I want a lot of stuff in here as well. Uh, let's do that, and then let's bomb this. I would love five cents. That is the opposite of five cents. Um, oh, I mean, it's not the opposite of five cents. It's not like two and five are opposites. Although, when you're talking about a dice, guess what? Two and five are opposites. You know how I know that off the top of my head? Because uh, when you have a die, uh, when you flip the sides of the die to whatever is on the reverse, uh, it always adds up to seven. So two and five are on opposites. Uh, five and one are on opposites. Two and four are on opposites. Uh, that, that's not true. Two and five are on opposites. Uh, and three and, uh, you know, four are on opposites. There you go. You added them up. Uh, you figured it out. I, I taught you something new you didn't know about your life today. And now you know how they make dice. Uh, but anyway. New mod coming, maybe. Uh, we'll figure it out as time goes on. Um, and obviously I'll, I'll update you in the video if that change ever were to happen. Uh... Hmm. So I'm going to take both of these. I'm obviously not taking plan C. I think I'll re-roll it. It's pretty much the best case scenario. Uh, and then we'll pop this. And then, I mean, obviously, you're looking for a health up. We just gulped. Uh, that was fishtail there's a balls of steel which is beautiful and a puberty one more puberty pill uh and we're sitting real pretty 8.25 damage on the first floor man uh that is nothing to shake a stick at that honestly feels insanely good so now do you want sucking buddy i think the answer is no do you want these black hearts? I think the answer is the hell of the freaking yeah, dude. Uh, and the dime on top of it is hilariously good. Because now you can come up here and you can say, uh, guess what? The little deep pockets action in here is now mine. Um, this pill, do I care about it? I don't think I care about it. Uh, and I'll continue moving down to the next floor. This was actually a pretty... Uh, pretty good floor for us uh, i think that that's not difficult to figure out uh saying as we walked away with horror babylon and maw the void which i mean i'm not saying that those are both amazing but they're i mean maw the void is actually amazing um and horror babylon when you're rocking uh, a soul heart build also amazing uh, is all i'm gonna say i think that that's that's not a difficult one to figure out. Now, our rate of fire is so low that Maw the Void's charge is, is kind of abysmal. We've also gotten two black hearts from Maw the Void already, and also now a red heart from the adult transformation that has killed Horror Babylon. Um, and I should have thought that through a little bit uh, faster, but let's pray for a devil deal on this floor uh, that we can then yeet that red heart away. I'm still good. The thing is, so... Obviously, the long-term play is to have Horror Battle on active. But we don't need 8 damage on this floor, right? Uh, if I had 8 damage on the depths, I would be over the moon. That's an awesome uh, uh, awesome damage. So, to be at 6 damage on this floor, I'm kind of chill with it. I think that that's one of those uh, things where you accept that as, as good. Eyesore, chance to fire up to 2 additional tiers in a random direction. I think that that's also uh, going to be at least interesting, right? Uh, and, and with a Happy Star, those are occasionally going to just cycle around us anyway. So it seems like a good play to me. Now, I know what you're saying. You're going, Tyler, you didn't get a devil deal. Uh, and thus, your your Horror Babylon play looks a little bit worse taking the Puberty Pill. But the thing is, here's, here's what I say, right? Would I rather get into a deep conversation about the history of the universe later take a puberty pill by accident and then get it or do you want to just get it now uh so i can make the mistake uh now although I, i'll be honest with you i actually wholeheartedly i didn't take it um as a mistake uh 
I just, I, I thought it was the right play at the time. I'm not sure it was, but... Enemies turn green when a green enemy is killed. Creates a green laser sphere that grows and decreases in size. Uh, time of life. Okay, I, it's a lot of words coming out of this item. Um, but none of them seem like, uh, hi, this is going to kill you. So, I'm just going to happily take it and run. This room contains, hopefully, some guppy items. The thing is, this would be a great run for us to become guppy on. Dude, it's actually disturbing how many black hearts we are getting out of, uh... Out of this damn item. We never get this many. It's beautiful. Give me a key, please. Not a key, but uh, look, I'm never going to sit here uh, and, and be that guy that complains about getting HP out of a thing. Oh, Tyler's so, so unfortunate. He gets uh, health that keeps him alive during this. What a loser. Okay. This works out. A-okay, dude. We're, we're hard chilling on this one. The world... To be fair, I might actually carry the world in the next floor. Although, I love the, love the Emperor. Oh, we get we have freaking deep pockets, dude. Uh, how about this? How about you take both uh, and shut up and never say a word ever again? How about that? You like that, Tyler? I'm talking to myself again. Okay, uh, shop. What do you got? Diplopoplo. Diplopoplo, huh? Okay, I could be convinced. Give me that diplope. Now, what are we gonna do with the plope? We're, we're gonna get some some sexy ass item. We're gonna get a hunk of ass from this diplopia. Um, also, thank you for the keys. I will go back and I will take uh, that golden chest and, and have a fun time with it by sticking the key in it and seeing what's inside of it. Inside of it was more bombs and more keys. Kind of a win-win. Let's head down good floor. Good floor. Very happy to be a part of it. Um, what is Diplopia best going to be used for? Could be used on a Devil Deal, frankly. Um, if there's a damage up in a Devil Deal, 100%. We, we could rock that immediately. Um, also going to do this. And then do this. Okay. This room got significantly more complicated because I was going to teleport out of it. But now I think uh, we are best served uh, staying in it for a little bit. Because your boy wants to wants to use one of these items in here. And possibly keep it for a while going forward. So Tammy's paw converts a red heart to a tears up. And now I want about 8,000 red hearts. <laughs> so I could have very many tears ups. Um, however... That requires us finding red hearts to mess with. It does now make the Diplopia Devil Deal play um, significantly better. As we are in a position where uh, we might not have red hearts to take the deal. Thus would be burning a lot of uh, burning a lot of soul hearts in the manor. So keep that in mind and remind the dude time. Because all I know is that I really want... Uh, I really want tears ups, dude. This is a run that we could start to spiral uh, very, very quickly on this one. Uh, if you just provide me... Like, dude, old bandage would be fantastic for us. Because uh, that essentially also... Book of Despair for another tears up. I will cheat. I will look at the cards. Ace of Hearts. Judgment, I will pop. You're not really who I was looking for. I'll be, I'll be real with you. Book of Despair is actually a pretty good book. Um, however, I would probably take Tammy's Paw over it. Dude, I should not have taken that much damage in this room. Uh, I'll probably take Tammy's Paw over it. If we don't find a Diplopia target, which, I mean, right now, we have not. Um, if we don't find a Diplopia target, then I will keep Diplopia. But I think that Tammy's Paw is an excellent, excellent item for this run. Because it ensures that we always stay in Horror Babylon mode. So, just give me a good reason to Diplopia. Uh, you gotta love F's up all sprites as a, uh... <laughs> as a, uh... Characteristic of Data Miner. Alright. Uh, dude, this is like a really good room to, to do a Diplopia in. It's like a really good room to use Diplopia in. 
But I'm going to bank on the Devil Deal providing me more value. Although, you know what? I'm going to take there's options now. That was what I was debating the entire time I was there. Because this just gives us the even more of a opportunity for uh, for good stuff. Right? Because then we can get an item from the boss that is possibly better than the item they were originally going to give us. Um, you know, they, think about if they give us old bandage, right? Or by old bandage, I mean uh, a freaky bandage, whatever the hell it is. So, tears and shot speed up or damage up and a range up? Um, see, now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is 100% one of the plays where you take uh, a double soap and a blood clot. Now you got the diplopia uh, used. You can feel good that you used it on something with at least a little bit of value. Um, I think that's fine. What was down here? That was data miner. That's right. F's up all sprites. I do remember this. Uh, and then now I think I will go back. I will take uh, Tammy's paw. So that any future red hearts we get, we just convert to a tears up immediately. Uh, being now two tears ups. Uh, two tears ups in because of the soap. But then also a tears up uh, from our... Uh, a tears up from Tammy's paw once. I'm feeling good about the tier stat. Uh, it's almost, I, I would say it's almost inevitable that we end up with a, another red heart on this run, meaning another tears up on this run. When you think of it like that, you know, every red heart equals tears up. Um, it's hard to not want health, right? And I know that it's only a, a minus one on, on the tears, but those add up over time, dude. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, eight damage, 8.25 damage, 10 rate of fire. This is already a win. Right? Especially with Maw of the Void. It's already a winning run. Um, but you get that to like 7 rate of fire with 8 damage. And it's it's a uh, disturbingly good run that holds a lot of uh, value for us. So you ready for this one? Gonna do one of these. Pop this. Come back. Pop this. You're gonna come right back up. You're gonna grab the Tinted Rock that you thought I missed. For another key would have been good to grab that key before for the extra key but that's life uh and i do think that spending uh some bombs here to then get this money uh, is also valuable it's essentially a key and a bomb for six cents um which is a trade you would probably never do but when you have a plethora of keys and bombs it seems a little bit better a horse does not matter to me in the slightest here's your secret room and uh we're doing fine, dude. We're doing fine. So, I want to talk a little bit about just, uh, about my life, right? Sometimes you like listening about my life. Uh, I'm in my last semester of college, which is crazy exciting. Uh, I've been in school for four years. Um, in, in a lot of ways, you know, looking forward in my life, I hate crack bean. Looking forward in my life, I, I will look back on my college years, obviously, with, uh, fondness because i met a lot of great people i learned a lot of important stuff um spent a lot of time with anna um growing our relationship it's been an incredibly blessed four years in my life also an incredibly stressful four years in my life um it's it's times like this where we're coming out of school you you sometimes want to look at people and be like don't ever go to college um because the amount of stress and, and headache that was introduced i'd rather have a freaking tears up dude uh except i would have rather picked up also loki's horns uh in there but that's okay um the amount of stress and and suffering and pain that you go through in school especially uh at, at a top school in the country like like when i'm at and i'm not uh i'm not down talking other schools it's just my program since I went for computer security, specifically at this school, um, it's one of the top security programs in the country, so it, it's difficult. Um, and that that resulted in a lot of stress, uh, a lot of heartache over the course of the past four years. Uh, to say that I'm happy that it's done is an understatement. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to be uh, finishing up 
my final semester here. Uh, it's a little bit bittersweet, sure, but I will tell you it, it is also significantly more sweet than bittersweet. Um, I'm I'm ready to be done. But what really is is kind of the the heartbreaker when it comes to um, leaving school and moving on to a, a full time position uh, in the workforce, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is just the, the sheer amount of growth that this channel went through. Uh, these past four years to put it in this pers some perspective and I was thinking about this today um, when I first started uh, YouTube it was oh Jesus um, at this point like eight years ago nine years ago something like that um, long time ago right a long time ago um, you know I was doing the Minecraft stuff I had a little under a thousand subscribers uh, i had one very popular minecraft video that if you go back and stalk my channel it, it still exists uh, i had one very popular minecraft video that took off uh it, it gave me a ton of subs you know i i jumped into the a thousand to two thousand range then i had a uh, experience in life that kind of pushed me away from wanting to do youtube anymore um it was just the nature of the people that I was around and the uh, environment that I was was kind of in in terms of just people to put it bluntly people thought that doing YouTube and playing video games uh, was lame and thus you know you kind of get shamed out it's, it's that it's that phase of your life where you care about what people think about you uh, and I kind of got shamed out of doing this well, when I met Anna, she was, you know, she had no idea about it, and she was like, you should, you should get back to doing it, and it seems like you really enjoyed it, and then that's kind of when I started to, to restart this, like, five years ago, uh, at this point, which is crazy to say five years ago, um, but, you know, restarting it at the time, I probably had, like, a thousand subs, because I lost a bunch, uh, from doing, from just leaving for, like, two years, um, so coming back to it, you don't know what to expect, right? Like you've been out of the scene. Minecraft is no longer big. That's what you built your channel on. Like, what do you what do you do to to become known again on uh, on YouTube? And and the answer is there's there's a ton that you can do because there's always new games. There's always new things to do. At the time, Twitch was nothing, man. Um, when I restarted, it was it was barely known. To be honest, um, well, I say that it was not barely known, but it's not like you know, YouTube was the big scene. Uh, YouTubers weren't making the change to Twitch at the time, um, so I, I started playing Isaac on on YouTube. Uh, it was a game that I had saw from B Double O One Hundred, who many of you know is kind of my inspiration for my channel as a whole. It's a big reason why I was doing the Minecraft stuff back in the day, uh, and then today, still a, a huge reason why I, uh, how how I run my channel, the conversation-based, uh, story-based style, uh, is all him. But it was playing Isaac and, and seeing this new style of game that was nowhere close uh, to what Minecraft was. Like, I mean, you're looking at this; it's nowhere close to what Minecraft is. But it's, it's making that change to Isaac that obviously jump-started uh, where my YouTube is today. And the thing is, it was still really small um, for a long time. I, I posted 150 afterbirth videos. More than that, it was actually probably closer to 170. 170 afterbirth videos um, before I even got remotely known. Um, for Isaac. And those those videos I was uploading, you know, four Isaac videos a week or whatever. Uh, and they were getting 20 views, maybe. Uh, and if you go back, they still only have 20 views. Uh, you guys haven't found the crazy old crap on my channel. Um, but, you know, this is stuff that you, you have to be determined that you, you want to do this, right? You know, it's when you go back and you see uh, oh yeah, I, you know, it's like right now, right? I'm playing Hades on the channel. And I expected Hades, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not afraid to admit these things. Uh, I expected Hades to be a massive 
hit on the channel. Uh, because if you haven't seen the game, guess what? It's like Isaac and Gungeon had a baby uh, and gave also the combat system of Dead Cells. The game is beautiful and it plays amazing and it's an awesome roguelite. Uh, and I expected that when I first posted that, this was going to be the next you know big game uh, on my channel. And the views are poop on it. Uh, because guess what? You, you can never predict what your community is going to like. I'm doing these Alexa looks right now. Uh, looking at all of these unique new games uh, that are out there. And it's a ton of fun checking out all these new games. And you guys are also like really enjoying uh, watching me check out these new games. I expected Hades to be one that everyone was going to go nuts over. Do you know what people like the most out of all the Alexa looks so far? Friggin' Demon Crawl. The Minesweeper roguelite. Why? <laughs> right? Why? Um... But anyway, you know, you, you look at how I'm mad about Hades, a game that I'm pulling, you know, 700 views a video on, in, in all seriousness, that's insanely good. But you look at something like that, uh, and you go, damn, I'm getting pissed about 700 views on a video. I was pulling 10, 15 views on a video, and I was excited about it. Uh, and I was amped up about it. And I posted 170, 190 videos of me getting 7 or 20 views on a video. But you stay determined. And when you stay determined and you post long enough and you know your stuff is good, eventually people find you. Uh, and, and that's, it's, it's sad. Because when I look back on my college years, in a lot of ways my college years is my years doing YouTube, right? Uh, I still remember it was, I, I'm in my first uh, semester of schooling. Actually, it was my, my second semester of schooling. Uh, I was still streaming on YouTube. I had just started streaming for the first time uh, and I did it on, on dang old YouTube, man. I wanna kill this, uh, I wanna kill this bone heart actually because we're losing out on uh, damage with it. So let's let's try to let's try to take a hit in a room that it makes sense to take a hit in. Um, so we could get ourselves that sweet horror Babylon damage back. Now obviously we have it right now, but I would like to Okay, we're we're just gonna do it in this room. Hit me. Actually I don't want that to hit me. I just wanna run into it. There we go. Okay. Then you pop that, then you're good. It lives, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to pop High Priestess in here. It is a little bit dumb that I have uh, not used High Priestess yet, but that's okay. But anyway, I still remember it was, you know, sitting in my dorm freshman year of college uh, when I told, you know, like the, the six people in my community at the time in my Discord, I was like, if you guys get me to 50 followers on Twitch, I'll make the move to Twitch instead of YouTube. Um... And, like, it happened that day. Um, I was still pulling enough people on YouTube uh, for it to for it to, to matter at that point. But things spiral, right? And, and now I have thousands of you uh, watching my content, which is crazy. And it still blows my mind. Uh, but there, it's still always just a little bittersweet to, to think back and realize that, you know, it was during these years in school that uh, my channel became what it is uh and i still don't know what the future of my channel is right uh i've told people many times that w when i go into a full-time position here next year um my time for youtube is gonna be cut ridiculously short because i'm just going to be yeah bffs is crazy good here uh, i'm just gonna be focused on other stuff and that might mean that you know everyday videos stop right uh and it's sad right it's sad because i don't want to stop that i enjoy this um, but in a lot of ways, there, there's bigger things in life that you have to account for. Uh, so basically this entire spiel that I've now spent, uh, wow, the greater part of this video, uh, discussing and talking about is colleges is a good time, right? College is a good time. Uh, you learn a lot about yourself when you go to college, whether it be, you know, things that you're interested in. You know, I learned so much about computers and computer security and 
various other related topics, including, you know, things that aren't related to computers. I learned uh, a lot about uh, economics, something that I am somewhat with a minor in. It's called an immersion. But, uh, you know, I learned all about game theory, which I know I talked uh, a stupid amount about last semester, you know, last year uh, in some of these videos. You know, college is a good time. It's not for everybody, and I, I wholeheartedly uh, agree with that and believe that. Um, it's not for everybody. But for those of you that are that are looking to eventually attend school, um, be excited for it and don't take it for granted because there's, there's a lot to learn in this world. Uh, and those that don't go to college are still going to be learning a lot. Uh, your entire life is learning. To be honest, um, and that's that's part of the reason why I, I chose computer security uh, as the route that I wanted to focus in. I don't do well with the whole sitting and relaxing thing. Like, you know, some people their their form of a a day off is I want to lay in my bed with a blanket, a hot cup of tea, spiked with some vodka. Uh, and I just want to watch Netflix the entire day, binge watch, you know, season three of Stranger Things. Don't even think about uh, calling me until I'm done with Larry, Drew, and the other characters of Stranger Things. Look, it's been like two years since I've watched that show. I don't remember any of the characters. Michael, Finn, something like that. Finn's the actor's name. I don't, look, I don't know any of this. Uh, Will, Will, Justice for Will, Justice for Barb, something like that. Uh, a la Stranger Things references, um, but me, my, my idea of a day off, I'm doing it. This is my day off. I finish class at 11. I have no assignments. <laughs> I'm sitting here recording, man, uh, because that's, I don't do well with the whole sitting still. I'm always looking for the next thing to do. I, you know, I, tonight, my, my big plans for the night, I have a free night off. I ain't relaxing. I'm sitting, I'm playing Stardew with Anna, building our farm, and just continuing to have a fun time playing games with Anna. You know, playing games is my way off, and I always kind of said, if I'm going to be playing games anyway, I might as well make money off of it. Um, which is, it's a crass way of thinking about doing YouTube, because I do it for way more than the money. In fact, I don't do it for the money at all. Uh, if I was doing it for the money, I would not be doing it on YouTube. Um, I would just probably be primarily streaming but that's neither here nor there in this conversation um i feel like i've been rambling for the greater half of this video but sometimes i think that me rambling in these videos is good um i like to try to I like to try to bring some semblance of real world into these videos. It's like, I still, it, it, and it, it's very flattering, right? It's very flattering, but it's still always like, it gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. I'll occasionally, when I'm in class, I'll just be on my computer, right, listening to the lecture. Um, so I'll occasionally hop on to the Binding of Isaac Discord, and I'll just see what people are chatting about in there. Uh, and I'll I'll give a reply or something and it happened today I, I was in the binding of Isaac discord and I just responded to something that a guy said it, it's in fact is where I found out about the uh, Ipecac community mod today So big shout out to the guys in there that told me about it um, But I hop in there and I say like one thing and then like three people are like, oh my god It's him. He's here It's it's him and I'm like I'm, I'm a dude with a 3.6 GPA uh, in college with no money to buy food. I eat a lot of ramen and uh, I'm sad all the time. I'm nobody, I'm nobody special, right? I'm nobody special. Um, but you get the, people get this weird thing that I'm, I'm not this, that I'm not a normal person. Right, that I'm some o overarching super lord of space, <laughs> and which it would be sick if I was, to be fair. Um, but people forget that I'm just like a standard ass dude that just likes playing video games and got lucky, uh, and YouTube decided that they wanted me to be a major face of the Binding of Isaac community. I don't know, man. It still blows my mind to this day. It blows my parents' minds even more. Because, like, my mom, they're, they're super supportive of what I do. 
Um, and they will occasionally, you know, my mom will check my, my YouTube stats on the, uh, the social blade site and she'll be like, Oh, I saw you hit 36,000 subscribers. Super proud of you. And I'm like, I love you. And it's great. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this one, but, uh, yeah, actually I literally have no idea where I'm going with this one. Um, but it's little things like that. that uh, you, you just, you don't expect it from, you, you don't expect, you, you, I don't consider myself a, celeb a celebrity, right? Um, because it's just not, that's not my personality. I don't want to be seen as a celebrity. I just want to be seen as a uh, fun, fun YouTube guy. Please watch my Hades series, something like that. Um, so I like to paint a picture that I'm I'm just a normal YouTube guy. But people get this false sense of once your name is known, that means that you're famous, right? And people are always looking is is the this society's oh you need clout thing. I don't know what clout freaking is. Or what the hell is clout? The only clout that I know is is I am clout. Something like that. Guardians of the Galaxy references. Ooh, Tyler, his name is Groot. Thank you. Um, I don't know, man. It's a weird world. Just here's my best advice. I've given a lot of advice in this uh, in this video. Figure out if college is for you. If it is, do your best to go to college, and then when you're there, uh, enjoy it. If you don't think college is for you, don't go to college because you're just gonna be sad. It'd be much better for you to go into the workforce, keep on learning. Uh, things are constantly evolving and changing in this life. Uh, always learn because that's what's going to benefit you the most is to learn as much as you can uh, throughout your entire life and never stop because life is exciting and it's exciting to learn things. Uh, that's my first bit of advice. Second bit of advice, learn how to cook because cooking makes everything in life better. Uh, when you can make like a, an amazing home cooked meal to, to come home to, you throw it in the crock pot in the morning, you come home, you got a, a well cooked uh, beef stew or something that has just uh, been sitting for five hours soaking all the juices. It's the best experience you'll ever have. And then third, watch my Haiti series because that's how you really uh, can bring happiness into your life. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Uh, this was an Isaac run that I talked literally nothing about Isaac during, um, but that's life, right? That's life on the channel. Thank you so much for everything over the past five years. Uh, and here's to hopefully another five years in the future. You have a good one. Goodbye.